are going to look at another example of uh, the word co-occurrence matrix. We've already studied the construction of word co-occurrence matrix in the previous uh, video. Now we are going to look at another example uh, which I really found difficult was C spot run, run spot run. Now please note that this is just a single sentence and we are supposed to construct uh, a word co-occurrence matrix for this. Now I'm not going to construct the matrix, I'm going to simply write down this value, this pair values and I'm going to explain as to how these values came about. Just for your information, we'll just revise the previous one. In the previous one, if I'm just trying to write it in this manner, key value pair manner, I'm going to write it as say cat, cat value is 0, see the occurrence, cat fast. Occurrence is 2. Cat hat. The occurrence is 2. So on and so forth. So this is how we usually write it. Okay. Write the values. The, this is called as a pairs approach. Now we are going to solve it. This word co-occurrence matrix for as I said. This sentence. C spot run. Run spot run. Once again, I would like to remind you that this is a sentence. In the previous example, we had two sentences. Here we are just dealing with one sentence. Now, let's look at run. To understand this, I'm going to just make a mess of this image. I'm going to draw this lines. So, run and run. The occurrence of these words together. See, they are the same sentence. They mean the same thing. But we are not going to look at it that way. We are going to look at it in this manner. Let's start reading here. You go, you encountered your first run. This is your first run. This is first. Okay. Run and run. Second occurrence. Okay. Now, this run is going to occur, is going to encounter this run. So, this becomes three, four. From here, again, two, this run is 5 and from here to this run becomes 6. So the number of occurrence of run and run is 6. Just have a look at the answer in the textbook. I hope it is clear. Moving on. Now the next pair is run and C. So let's see where do I see run. Okay run. Run and C. So it is over here. So first one. There is only one C. So this is the second one and this is the third one. So run and C. We'll write the value as 3. Look at the textbook. So it is 3. I hope you understood this. Moving on, we are going to look at run and spot. Now this is a bit tricky. Run and spot. So here is my first run. Run and spot. 1. Okay, run and spot is not okay. This is the first spot, then this becomes the second spot. Run and spot. Okay, now here these two are together. So this is three. Run and spot. And again this will go over here. So it becomes four. Okay, next what you do is we have this run. Run and spot. This is five. And this run, again when it encounters this spot, it will become six. So, run and spot will give you the value of 6. We will occur together 6 times. I hope it is clear. Moving on. C and run. So, C and run once. C and run twice. C and run thrice. So, this will be 3. It's quite easy. Next, we look at C and spot. Once. C and spot twice so it just occurs twice so the value is 2 next spot and run so this is first second now see there are two spots so this is third I'm just going to do it again so that you don't get confused so this is third so I repeat spot and run first spot and run second spot and run third co-occurrence okay now we are looking at the second spot so from this spot to this run fourth from this spot to this run 
fifth and from this pot to this run it becomes six so spot will run the value becomes six next we have spot and c spot and c c because c is there only one so spot and c one spot and c two so the value becomes two over here and the last one is spot and spot so here i think there is a confusion so it becomes one over here so the value is one let's have a look at what the textbook says and check whether we got the right answer or not so let's have a look at this see run and run six run and see three run and spot six okay see and run three spot and run is six spot and run is six next we have spot and cs2 and spot and spot is one if you must have noticed they have not written c comma c which is c comma c which is zero because it's occurring only once okay thank you so much hope you understood this thank you so much